Um, so Comerica offers several different vent designs and construction to get the best airflow and shielding for the most economical design. Um, and what you see here are just some of the trade names that we use in, in our different vents. And really the important takeaway is that there's a lot of different vent designs and vent features, and many of them are interchangeable based on your requirements. So the next few slides, we'll just talk about some of the, the common trade names and, and where we've seen those applications. So Stream Shield is our go-to commercial off-the-shelf vent. It's one of the only off-the-shelf non uh, or standard. Um, and so these are typically non-structural. You, you see standard size muffin fans like 90 millimeter, 120 millimeter. You can have a square or circular opening. It can be offered in straight cell, omni cell, there's plated versions. It can be offered with intumescent paint. Um, but you'd see this in a traditional telecom application where you need added shielding, um, or if it was necessary for just a bit more sophisticated solution than just a simple perforations or louvers in an electronic enclosure, which you've probably seen at some point. One of the other designs that we have that's kind of in our category of versatile aluminum vents is our shield cell or omni cell design. These are typically low end military or high end commercial vents. Um, they're lightweight because they're made out of either a single or a double layer of aluminum honeycomb. Um, and they tend to use a combo gasket for mounting and mating up to a housing um, with a plating that can can add a, a higher cost. You're going to see a shielding effectiveness increase, um, and it can also improve the uh, the shielding of of these vents, considering they're you know kind of straddle the line between lower end high performance and and higher end of, of the low performance. Um, finally, vents are actually going to include. Um, cross braces if they get larger than you know 12 by 24 inches for example okay so there's several advantages in the the higher end performance of ends of using steel or brass honeycomb and the more obvious reason is the strength and durability um, the rigid construction prevents damage from minor bumps of the honeycomb it's a very uh, honeycomb is very fragile so it can be damaged pretty easily um, you know, potentially eliminating the need for an added support like a kick guard or a frame brace. So steel and brass tend to be used in a lot of military enclosures, communication shelters. Anytime you hear, you know, designing something for EMP hardening or tempest equipment, you're gonna think stainless steel or brass, um, especially in environmental uh, extreme environments where, you know, weather or uh, salt fog, salt spray is, a, is an issue. Um, but also a really important feature is the benefit of maximum H field shielding effectiveness. So it can be very difficult to shield and absorb at very low frequencies with traditional EMI shielding materials. Um, so steel is a very good candidate when I call the H word, H field shielding is needed. So something to know. And the other event that's in our category of high performance vents is uh, the co-cell design. So it's a pretty standard military offering um, and it's at a higher cost, higher performance vent. Um, it's an aluminum vent again with an electroless nickel plating and it actually uses a uh, co-seal conductive elastomer gasket to get you know, up to 90 dB attenuation across the entire frequency spectrum. So from anywhere about 200 megahertz up to about 10 gigahertz. And finally, one of the things, one of the other, the other benefits that we see into this are the conductive epoxy, that little bead there that actually helps ground the frame to the honeycomb. And as Sierra mentioned, the incorporation of a bushing that uh, eliminates FOD. So we call them VIP or shield screens or essentially low shielding dust screens. Uh, these are specifically designed for, you know, intake or exhaust openings that require things like maximum dust arrestance easy removal and reinstallation, repetitive cleaning of excess dust deposits. Um, so just to confirm though, this the filtering medium is not a traditional honeycomb. I know we've talked about honeycomb mostly throughout the presentation, but this is a multi-layer expanded aluminum, which can be coated with viscous oil for dust impingement. Um, and it works in applications with very low velocity airflow. And finally, the, the other low profile vent is known as a slim vent. Um, they're made for very tightly packed or small mechanical areas. And they actually consist um, also like the other design, not of a honeycomb, but of an expanded aluminum mesh. Um, while they're thin, they can certainly provide high levels of shielding effectiveness. So up to 90 decibel attenuation at lower frequencies. And once you get up to the higher frequencies in the you know, 50 to 70 decibel range. 
Um, there will be a more noticeable air pressure drop just because the, the metal takes up a, a greater amount of the, uh, uh, of the open medium. And finally, a lot of the times they'll incorporate either an EMI uh, conductive elastomer or a metal mesh gasket for, uh, for shielding. Mm -hmm.